I didn't recognize the return name on the address. But it, it, it looked like it was the handwriting of an elderly person. And I don't know what it was that made me open it, but I opened it. I opened it and I started reading it. And it, the woman now lived in Georgia. It was one southern state. So it lives in Georgia. And she's right here, Mr. Christie. I'm not sure if this is the same person. I think it is. She said, I remember a little boy who walked into my class, my kindergarten class at five years old, and he was a little bit tall, a little stocky. <laughs> <laughs> she said, Punchy. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. <laughs> so glad to have the first lady here. <laughs> Dark hair came into my classroom, and I knew right away that he was special. And I remember the way he would lead our class in the flag school. I remember how he liked to read out loud to the other children. And I remember that he used to help me after school to clean up afterwards. And said, I don't know if this is the same Chris Christie that I had in my kindergarten class at the Squire Town School in 1967. But if it is, and you really are the governor of New Jersey, I just want to tell you, I was proud of you then, and I'm proud of you now. Now there's a teacher who had me in her classroom 43 years ago. 43 years ago. <laughs> I don't think it was about me. That's the point. I think it's about her. And I think that there were probably a lot of kids that she had over that course of time who are still 43 years later in her memory because she invested so much of her life and herself in us. And so, you know, who are great teachers? You know, she, I loved her then. I remember her. I remember walking into her class the first day and when my mother dropped me off crying like crazy because I didn't want to stay. I want to go, oh, mom, I didn't want to stay. And she had a great class. And as I went up in that elementary school, everybody always wanted to have her because she was not married at the time. That's why I didn't remember the name. It was Miss Lukemeyer. I Miss Lukemeyer like it was yesterday. And now her last name is Welch and she's living in Georgia. Those are great teachers. And we need to reward those people. And I said at this event we had earlier 